right hey you guys so today we are blow drying and flat ironing my hair and oh my goodness this was definitely a challenge for me so this is my hair nice tightly coiled um nice and full head of hair as well i might say so myself and so yeah let me get into what i did and what um just some tips that i want to give to you guys so first i'm starting off with spraying this afo g tea tree spray i'll put all the um products that i use down in the description box but i use that first to um prior to blow drying my hair and then next i'm just going in with the silk elements um, heat protecting and then this blow dryer and doing the tension method i will say i had a horrible horrible time blow drying my hair you guys and i don't know if it was maybe using that green tea first maybe i should have just went on ahead and just went straight to the heat protectant spray um but my hair was so hard and so just like hard to um get the dimming brush from this is also my first time using this black dimming brush which i absolutely hated in the beginning of this whole process i thought it was horrible um and i was struggling really bad so i went to go get my bio silk and that's what i'm applying to my hair right now and it was just so much better so i think i'm gonna have to see the smile on my face i think i'm just gonna have to next time make sure i put the bio silk in there because my hair is so kinky and thick it's gotten so much thicker you guys and i think i just underestimated um how much my hair has progressed and grown and is getting back to um normal so um the last time i blow dried my hair my sister actually did it so i haven't blow dried my own hair in almost a year um, and I've had two or three cuts since then. So I try and keep my ends as good as possible. But the purpose of this particular blowout um, was to, of, of course, you know, trim my ends because I had a feeling that they needed it, which you will see they did. So I just switched to my um, Revlon uh, blow dry brush and it made the process so much easier. So because I wanted to get my hair as straight and as smooth as possible before flat ironing, I just went back in with this Denman brush and took it a little bit like smaller sections, sort of kind of, and blow dried it a little bit better. Um, and this definitely helped out um, with just the smoothing process. So I know the key to a really great straight style is the blow dry and I just have to work on my technique, but I just don't put heat on my head, but maybe twice a year so yeah so you guys I'm going through the stages of Lord I got a flat iron this hair and I don't feel like it what do I do I just went on ahead and did it you guys so I'm just taking my um what do you call this <laughs> my electric hot comb and I burned myself this is just this was a really not the greatest process for me and I told myself after this I don't think I will be straightening my hair by myself ever again because I was just like dying So I was trying to go as slow as possible and take um, very small pieces, but I just don't have the patience for that, you guys. So I was just doing my best here um, and just really checking out my ends. You can see like right there at the very tips, like that needs to be cut off. And um, that was of course my purpose for going ahead and straightening my hair to get a length check and to um, see where I needed to cut. I will say um, my hair has changed pretty, not necessarily drastically, but it is super, super noticeable. It's so much thicker and it's thicker from root to ends. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I was having um, issues for maybe a good year and a half with my hair just feeling like it was just thick in the roots but not at the ends um like just hormonal or just i don't know but it was just a really um big drop off as far as the thickness and to me my hair is thick all the way around from root to tips and that is a huge accomplishment 
um, for myself and just to know that what I've been doing is working. And so next year, 2020, I will be focusing on um, length because this year, 2019, if you've been following me again, you know that my focus was getting my hair um, back to how thick I know it can be and it typically is. But um, since having Isaiah and just hormones and stress and all that great stuff really took a huge toll on my hair and it's taken me almost two years to um, grow it back out, get it, you know, healthy again. And I think I'm at that stage. So I'm super proud of myself. And yeah, 2020, I will definitely be um, focusing on really um, retaining my length. So be prepared for those videos. Also, I know it seems like I applied a lot of heat on my hair, but my hair can take it. I don't apply heat, but maybe twice a year. So I, I know what I'm doing. It's not gonna damage my hair or anything like that. So yeah. So yeah, you guys just wanted to um, come on here and just show you guys what I did. You see, it still has a little bit of movement and my hair is definitely grown. I'm Like I said, I'm super proud. It's nice and thick and healthy. And I got a little ponytail action going on back there. So yeah if you guys have any questions or comments or anything like that please let me know I'm just gonna give myself a little trim um and I I was gonna like really go in and trim it but I was like uh, I'm not doing that I don't feel like it and I just want to go see someone and get a real haircut so yeah look at that shine too oh oh gotta love some shine anyways you guys thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video bye